Hello everyone, Aditya here from JS of Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss about the MM to FI integration part. In this, uh, we in this uh, initially we are going to do all the basic settings which are basically done from the MM side, and then we are going to go ahead with the integration part that is uh, creation of GL account, uh, creation of master material master, vendor master, group together valuation areas, definition valuation classes define valuation classes account grouping and uh, autom automatic postings is what we need to do and then we will also do this basic stuff which is done by the end users of the mm department like creation of purchase order uh, receipt against purchase order invoice verification and payment order so let's start off with the basic configurations which are done by the mm site so let's start with the defining of the uh, plant so for that we have to go to ox10 transaction and we just need to click on the create vpro process hyderabad plant and then we have country code country code is india we can select it from the drop down So right now uh, we don't have a country code here. The country code which we are, we are supposed to do here is IN. City is something like HYD. So we we keep it blank because we need to create those things and uh, we just need to save it. And here we have Mr. or we can go for MS and John Deere and we can fill up all these things street number save and then create no actually we already have a request own request search for process it's been saved now come back name to also we can give it for that Back. We'll go for the uh, location O I O I A S O I A S. That's location. We are going to maintain the location here in the O I A S transaction. Then O X zero nine. We are going to maintain the storage location. Maintain purchase organization O X zero eight. So we have here O I A S. This in this we have to go for new entries, and this the plant name is VPRO. Location is VPRO Elvo. Enterprise local storage location. Then we have to give the storage location details also. Search term is HYD. Field number one zero India. Let's say OK, and the storage location is also successfully created in OIAS transaction. Save yes. OK. And then we'll go ahead with the maintain storage location that is OX09 transaction. OX09 OX09 transaction maintain storage location. So here we have VPRO is the associated plant here. Let's 
So in this we have the address location. Click on new entries and here with the storage location is VPRO. This is storage. And we can we can uh, you know create multiple storage locations actually. Just click on save. So we have created a storage location. We have created location, we have created storage location OX09. And that's been done. Then we'll go ahead with the OX08 maintaining purchase organization. So for purchase organization, click on this new entries and this VPRO. This is purchase organization. Save it. Okay, so PPRP is what we will select as the purchase organization because purchase organization is already existing with that name. So please remember the BPRP was the purchase organization for us. So just say OK. Later on, we can go for position and uh, we can also search for BPRP. So VPRO is already there. Now we need to go for assign plan to company code that is OX18. Assign plan to company code. So in this we go for new entries and company is VPRO, plant is VPRO again. Assign and click on save say ok then come back so we have successful yes do you want to change yes and after assigning the assign plan to company code we just need to go for assign purchasing ordination to company code ox10 so we'll go for ox10 sorry ox01 assign purchasing order to company code O X zero one say OK and in this click on the position check for VPR for VPR one VPR for both uh, we have not assigned the company code so let's assign the company code here this there can be two plans as well so let's search for the VPR company code because our company code is VPR Here also we can put this VPRO, say enter, save, say ok, back. Now once this VPRO is done, assign purchasing ordination to plant OX17. So let's assign the purchase ordination to the plant OX17. And this new entries, purchasing ordination is VPRO, plant is also VPRO. So let's assign that here, save. And we can also go for VPRP as well. So we have done VPRP purchasing ordination also. That also we are assigning it to plant VPRO only. We can do it like that. So we can have multiple purchase ordinations into one particular uh, you know uh, plant. So then we have defined attributes for of material types OMS2. OMS2. There are different types of uh, materials like we have categories like we have waste, we have samples, we have compatibles, we have coupons, we have services, we have spare parts, we have a lot of things. So let's assume one more uh, one more uh, type of uh, material type. So click on new entries, select this, click on new entries. Okay, so we need to, uh, we need to copy the existing one. So we just have to copy it like this because new entries has not been accepted here. So then uh, uh, material type let us go for JHS 
all VIP material. Say okay. And uh, quantity updating, value value update, pipe mandatory, uh, pipe allowed. All these things we can just uh, you know manipulate this data later. But you know uh, we we just have this copied from there. Just say enter. Number of independent uh, independent in entries uh, which has been copied is 191. Just say okay, and the JHS is a material type that got created, and for this, all these material types, all these uh, you know uh, sub topics have been loaded here. Now let's go ahead. Do you want to save changes? Yes. Say okay. Once it's been done, you have to go for maintain computer codes for material management, which maintain company codes for material management OMSY. So I am into OMSP transaction now, in which we are going to OMSP transaction in which we are going to assign the company to the company codes to the material management. So we'll go ahead and click on this company code VPRO. For this, we need to give the year 2016 and uh, and 12 periods is 12. 12 periods we are giving. We are giving the 12 periods. 2016 is the fiscal year. We took the year as 2015 and saved it. Uh, because that is already maintained so we'll fix up for 2016 as well later set tolerance limits for price variances it is omr6 so let's go to the omr6 transaction and in the omr6 transaction we are going to maintain, maintain the tolerance so you already know that tolerance means the uh, the difference of amount which we can manage for example if the product is been uh, selling for 60 rupees we can still sell it if the product falls to 56 rupees or raises to 64 rupees. So maybe like, uh, you know, we have some variance, 8% or 10% of the variance is what is acceptable. So that is called tolerance. So we are going to go ahead with the tolerance now. OMR6. So here we are setting the tolerance here, new entries, the tolerance name is VP, VPRO and then we have save, non request. okay and the tolerance group for this is like let's say do not check or check limit so the check limit is like you know if I given as 10 percent is the lower limit and uh, the higher limit is 10 percent so what it means is if the if at all the product is costing us 100 rupees we can still make a business or we can still do the transaction until the product cost falls to 90 or raises to 110 beyond that we will not be able to do the transactions we need to take the approvals or make the required changes so it is for restricting our uh, uh, transactions to a certain limit so the, we are setting up the tolerance for this and with this we complete the creation of uh, setting up the tolerance groups uh, for the price variance and there are some defined param plant, plant parameters and then we have set tolerance limits for goods received omco from this from this steps we are going to do it in the next video so in this step in this video we have covered the first 10 steps of the basic mm configuration so going forward in the next video we are going to discuss about the remaining uh, next 10 uh, configurations and then we are going to start for the integration part between the